Experts say more cases of thyroid cancer are being diagnosed in the United States. The first symptom is what's called a thyroid nodule, and generally, when tests come back inconclusive, you know, doctors have a tough choice to make. Mary Nichols has more in tonight's Check Your Health report. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Those results came back that they were indeterminate, so they weren't sure if it was cancer or not. Six weeks after she gave birth, doctors discovered that Amy Farrell had a thyroid nodule, which can be a symptom of cancer. It's very gut-wrenching to wait, you know, um, I mean, nobody wants cancer. Results from a biopsy were inconclusive. Traditionally, at this stage, doctors will perform surgery to remove the thyroid for further testing. And in those situations, uh, the majority of the patients went in, got a surgery, where the, f where the final result was benign. Dr. Shahzad Ahmad is a physician at the Thyroid Institute of Utah. Instead of performing surgery on patients who have inconclusive thyroid biopsy results, he orders a genome test. Uh, the test looks at the 142 genes associated with uh, the thyroid nodules, and it looks at their activity level. And using their activity level, it can give you a clean and clear prediction of if the nodule is suspicious or if it's benign. In Amy's case, the genome test showed no signs of cancer. She'll be tested every six months just to make sure no cancerous cells are developing. A big weight lifted off my shoulders. It, you know, I have a little boy, I have a husband, I have a family. I enjoy spending time with them. I didn't want to be having to deal with cancer. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. There's a problem too. Dr. Ahmad says that 15 to 30 percent of the biopsy results for thyroid cancer come back as inconclusive. If doctors perform surgery, the patient will need to be on medication for the rest of his or her life. So for more information, go to our website, KUTV.com. You can click on the Check Your Health link. We'll have it all there for you.